Hello, first today, growing fears that 13 homes hanging off a cliff in Hemsby are now an environmental danger and need to be demolished. They were evacuated at the weekend after high tides and strong winds washed the cliffs away. The leader of Great Yarmouth Borough Council, Graham Plant, says with the start of the summer season approaching, the chalets need to be moved as soon as possible. Alex Dunlop has the details. Just three months after moving Daniel in, the removal men are back. Within days, the home he shares with his mother will either be demolished or fall into the sea. This is the view of his kitchen from the beach and this from inside. We bought the place for sea view. It's quite a view. There is your sea view now. Along with 14 other people living on the cliff edge, Daniel's having to move out. Some would say, why move in when there's every chance this could happen? We wasn't warned. We was told that it won't happen for 60 years. We were told that money's getting pumped in. We was told that money uh, is going to be put on defences on the back of our gardens. We had nothing to worry about. Not even four months down the line, and here we are. Five days after storms cut into the soft cliff, a warm spell is now drying the sand. So the rate of erosion is alarming. Since Friday, up to 10 metres of Lancer's garden have collapsed onto the beach. Telegraph pole that you can see, that was covered up to the wet sand mark, and all of that is gone. The decking that you see down there, I've moved that back three or four times over the last, since Friday. I, I'm very optimistic, and, you know, what doesn't break you makes you stronger, so you just get on with it. A team from Great Yarmouth Borough Council.